Hello everyone, welcome back to Jack Scraps and thank you for joining me today for our What A Card series. Today we will be creating our first slimline card and I must say it is all the craze right now but I have actually seen these out in the uh, population before at least uh, since last um, winter time so I think we're all a little late on getting on board but I'm glad that we have because they're really quite fun to make and I love having a different size to create with so here is the one that I've created and I am loving it for the 4th of July so let's get started on how to create it While there are many slimline card sizes out there, today we are going to be using the size that requires a piece of cardstock as your base that is seven and three fourths inches in width by eight and seven eighth inches in length. The next thing we need to do is score this in half at three and seven eighths. When scoring, be sure to have the seven and three fourths inches across the top of your scoreboard and then score at three and seven eighths. The next thing we'll do is go ahead and burnish. And I'm using a Teflon bone folder and it helps with keeping the shine off the cards. So there is our base card. In creating this card today, I will be using Bow Bunny Celebrating Freedom Collection. Next you'll want to cut down a top layer and this will be three and five eighths by eight and five eighths. And then go ahead and adhere that down to the card base. When applying this layer, I found it's best to actually open up the card base. Now because I'm making this a uh, fairly simple slimline card, I'm just gonna go ahead and start decorating the top. And I'm adding this uh, little cardstock piece that says let freedom ring centering that between the two sides then I'm going to add this little firework and I'm going to put it up on foam tape This will hang off the side a little bit, but I think I'm okay with that as long as my envelope will fit that. Then I'm gonna add some fireworks up here. Again, this is a, a fairly simple slimline card, but what's nice about this, I like this style because it makes it a little easier to decorate. Now I could put this underneath here. I was gonna put it above, but I think I kinda like, I think I like that. I'm going to trim this side because it folds. Now that we have the front of our card done, we're gonna go ahead and create an envelope. And I'm going to create this regardless of the hangovers because I want you to be able to have a standard size envelope for a three and seven eighths by eight and seven eighths slimline card. So that's what we're doing right now. What you need to do is take a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock and you're gonna cut that down to be nine and one eighth by 12. We're going to put this in our scoreboard with the 9 and 1 8 inches going across the top and we're going to score at 2 all the way down and then 6 and 1 8 all the way down. We're going to rotate our cardstock once to the right hand side and then we're going to score at 1 and 5 8 and 11. Now we'll need to do some cutting and I just want to 
show you what pieces we'll be cutting out. We're going to cut out the four corners down here and here. And when you do that, you can angle a little bit if you like. So here's the bottom where they have the three slimmer score marks there. And I'm just going to go slightly above the score line and make an angle. And I'm going up to the cross of two score lines. And then over here, I'm going to come up and angle a little bit as well. So let's do the same thing over here. And then we'll repeat the same process at the two marks above here. But when we are up here, we're going to cut straight down on these. Okay, so we're only angling the side flap. So over here, I'll do it again, just cut in straight to the crossing score lines. And then over here, we're going to come in and angle a little bit. So it should look like this. You'll have this side larger than the other side. At this point, we can go ahead and burnish all of our score lines. With all of our cuts completed, what I want to do now is round off some of the edges. I'm going to use the uh, Cropodile from We Are Memory Keepers. I'm going to um, round the corners with a half inch rounder for the two flaps in the middle. So this is optional, you don't have to do it. Now I wanted to do the bottoms, but, oh here we go. Yeah, it's not fitting. So, if you have a smaller corner rounder, maybe that will work, but it won't work for my, um, yeah, it only does a little bit. <laughs> Okay, that's disappointing. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is make sure you have a nice little um, cut here so they can grab. I mean, I can probably even cut in there a little bit thicker. Yeah, I think that's a nicer cut there. So we'll definitely go with that. You wanna have a nice little space there. And at this point, we're going to add some glue to the smaller side here. And then on the flap at the bottom, the one inch flap. So what you end up with is really a nice little policy envelope. And this will be measuring four and one eighths by nine and three eighths. So let's see if it fits our card. <laughs> Yeah, so it doesn't fit mine. So particularly when you have things overhanging, you would definitely need at least another fourth of an inch on that. 
but otherwise it would fit in there perfectly and I could cut off the firework but to I wouldn't want to ruin the this firework right here okay so I wanted to figure out what my size envelope would be and really if I looked at this a fourth of an inch would definitely do it so I'm basically using the same size envelope that I just did to create the white one that's nine and one eighth by twelve I'm going to score at two Now, normally you would score at six and one eighth. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to score at six and three eighths. So score at two and six and three eighths. That gives us another fourth of an inch, if I'm measuring correctly. Yeah. Okay, turn once to the right. You're going to score at one and five eighths and score at 11. And I'm going to be doing the cutting the same way. Here's these three small ones at the bottom. I'm gonna cut in a little bit to the score line. Over here, I'm going to go up just a little bit from the score line and cut in diagonally. So just the same thing I just did. If that helps. And do that down here as well. Now, if we turn to the other end, remember these we cut straight in. And then diagonal on the side only. Straight in. And diagonal. And there it is. Just gonna burnish and do everything that I just did. So I won't make you watch this all again, but I'll come back to show you if it fit. <laughs> okay, so here's the envelope that I just did and I added a little sticker here to the front. Let's see how it fits our card. It's there with no problem at all, easy in and out, you can feel that. So that is all you need is an additional fourth of an inch on the width there for the measurements that I gave you. And then of course on the inside I added a little um, cardstock banner here, it has a little ladybug. And down below I added some washi tape that's plaid, I think that turned out really cute. So I hope you have enjoyed our first slimline card today. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.